Welcome to beautiful downtown Milwaukee for a world championship celebration. I'm Eric Jensen, the PA announcer for your Milwaukee Bucks. And I'm here to proudly welcome your MC for the day. She's the Bucks sideline reporter heading to Tokyo to report on the Summer Olympics. Let's give it up for Zora Stevenson. Milwaukee, I'm gonna have y'all do better than that. The champs are in the building. The theme of this run was history in the making and I am here to tell you history was made on Tuesday night. You all made history. Deer District is now a household name. And the people behind me made history. First time in 50 years, a championship is in Milwaukee. Seven years ago, seven years ago, we, we made the investment team, myself, Mark, and then Jamie and Mike and others. And this was the plan. From the first minute of the first day, we wanted to bring a championship to this uh, town. And we did it by putting out a plan and following the plan. We hired the best people. We hired the best president. We hired the best coach. We hired the best GM. We hired the best sports science. We hired the best people at every level. We built the most beautiful arena in the world to play in. And, and hell, we already had the best fans. And on Tuesday night, the best player in the world, on the best team in the world, had the best game of his life, and we are the 2021 World Champions of the NBA. Thank you, thank you very much. Next up, the person that helped orchestrate everything, and his partner, they say they do this together. I'm talking about General Manager John Horse and Head Coach Mike Budenholzer. Y'all want to hype up Coach Bud's kicks? John, you've said in order to win a championship, you have to be good. This team is daggone good. You got to be a little lucky. They got a little luck. And you have to be healthy. You all weren't all the way healthy. What do you think of the way they overcame everything to get to this point? Zora, it's really special. This is an incredible group of people with character, determination. They fought for each other. They made up for injuries. They made up for mistakes. They made up for unfortunate things that happened. We're good. We're lucky. We were healthy and we're NBA champions. Go Bucks! Go Bucks! <laughs> Coach Bud, what was the experience like coaching these specific group of men? Oh, it's incredible to coach these guys. Coming in every day, coming into the building with a group that works like they do, the group that embraces some of our mantras. We talk about getting better every day. We talk about playing together. When you do those things, you end up on a stage like this. They compete. They're NBA champions. I couldn't be more happy for our players, for our team, for our organization, for our city of Milwaukee, NBA champions. Yeah. It's big time. Pat, I want to talk to you about adversity because anytime you're asked about what the team is going through, you say it's just going to make us better. It's going to prepare us for what's next. Why have the ups and downs been so valuable? Uh, we got a special group. We got a group of guys that treat each other like family, like brothers. Um, you know, from the top down, starting with ownership, management, coaching staff. Uh, you know, they've had our backs, and it's on us to give them everything we got on a nightly basis, and sometimes there's some adversity, but. Uh, we got a special group, great character, uh, and we owe it to the city of Milwaukee and the fan base for having our back all season. Bobby, 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 Bobby. Bobby, these are your people. Talk to them. Hey, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? 
Nah, 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 say, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Yeah. One more time, one more time. How are y'all doing? Yeah. Yes, sir. On the behalf of me and all my teammates, I want to thank y'all for all season long supporting us. Um, even though um, back in the back in four or five months ago in December and January, you know, we didn't have fans. Um, you know, fans came around around March and you guys showed up and showed out. So, you know, without you guys, we wouldn't have got this done. And shout out to the best fans in the world. Appreciate y'all. PJ, you said this group was full of some dogs. <laughs> you said they were full of some dogs. <laughs> How did they display that on this championship run? You know, it's crazy. That's what everybody, like, when I came here, they're like, yo, you got to, like, show, like, you got to be the dog. And I'm like, we, man, we got dogs. Like, they just ain't, like, we, <laughs> like, I got here, like, we, we already got dogs. They just don't know how to be dogs. And we going to be dogs. And our dogs is crazy. We got dogs, you hear me? Milwaukee, we dogs. You, 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 were, you were emotional as that buzzer sounded on Tuesday. And you talked about all the trials and tribulations that have led you to this point. How sweet is the end, my friend? <laughs> you, see, you see all these... <laughs> what? 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 You can't make this up, man. These dudes, this organization, what we, what we put together... You can't make this up. This ain't, we don't, it don't, no, no, nothing matter. Except what's going on right here, right now. That's all that matter. They say what they want. But they gotta say we champs. Hey. One more swig for the crowd. One more swig for the crowd. One. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. B.J. Tucker, everybody. Drew, you haven't even been here a year yet. Nah, what a man. time. It's, just, it's my presence, huh? Just hey. what I do. <laughs> How good has Milwaukee been to you? Say it again. How good has Milwaukee been to you? Dang, Tuck. Look at all the champagne on here, man. This is crazy. Y'all been beating this thing up, huh? Man, uh, Milwaukee's been great to me, man. Me and my family. Um, this organization took us in as family. And in one year, man, look what we could do. Maybe we could do it again, huh? Drew, on a quest for a championship, what role does selflessness play? I mean, it's one of the biggest parts, right? Uh, everybody has their role. Giannis talks about it every day, being a star in your role, and I feel like that's the kind of team we have, the type of character, and, and that's how you win uh, championships. Brooke, look at all this. Thousands, thousands throughout the parade route, today, Tuesday. How appreciative are you of this moment? Man, uh, I'm just so appreciative. I, I can't believe it right now. It's still a dream. This is, this is incredible. I mean, look at, look at this. Look at all these people. This is... It's so special. You know, Zora, I just can't put it into words. I'm sorry. So I know Brooke has been at a loss for words for a while. And if you don't know, Brooke is one of the players. Like, he challenges you. As a reporter, you got to come with good, detailed questions for Brooke Lopez. <laughs> and so I said, okay, I have this moment to ask him a question. I'm going to put it in his lane. So I'm wondering what Disney movie, what Disney story really talks about and displays the journey of this group behind you. I put him on the spot. What Disney really, movie? Really put me on the spot. Ah, um, hmm. I guess, uh, what do you think? They're actually another professional sports team. Um, and we weren't exactly the misfit crew they were at the beginning of the first movie. And, but, uh, 
Bud's probably not of not as attractive or charismatic as Emilio Estevez. <laughs> but it's a lot like the Mighty Ducks, I think. I mean, they, got, they had to have felt that at some point, right? Chris, you've been on a journey with this group, with these fans, with this city. Have you been able to put into words yet everything this means to you? It's just been a long time coming. Long time. Yes, been here eight years, struggled, went through a lot of, you know, just ups and downs. But we finally got the job done for sure. Got the job done. People always talk about how hard it is to win a championship. What kind of effort did you and your teammates put forward to get this done? I think each and every one of us read it down the court each night. Hear the story about Giannis after game five. I think it was how he was cramping. Um, you know, the minutes that Drew played, that my, I, I played, Brooke played, everybody. Everybody had a part in it. Everybody did everything they could to get to this point today. You all were down 0-2 twice. And everybody was counting you all out, but you all stayed locked in. How much fight is in this group? It's, you can't even measure it. I mean, each time we are down 0-2, all we did was get closer. Some teams separate, some teams point fingers. We never pointed finish. We never quit on each other. All we did was come closer, try to find a way to figure it out. And last but not least, a forward from Greece, the finals MVP, number 34, the Greek freak, Giannis Adetokounmpo. Trophies, y'all. This one? Whichever one you want. Yanni, the last time you were on a stage like this with a crowd outside the arena, you won your first MVP award. And at that ceremony, you said, hey, don't call me the MVP so that I can get better and be able to bring a championship to Milwaukee. Two years later, you have done just that. Where are your emotions at this point? Uh, you know, I'm extremely happy. Uh, I'm proud of my teammates. Uh, proud of the whole organization for everything we did all year. Uh, we put um, extremely unbelievable work. Uh, we believed in ourselves. We went out there to compete. And uh, right now, you know, I'm extremely happy. I'm still can't believe uh, this is happening, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to be in the moment, trying to enjoy as much as possible with you guys, with my teammates and everybody. There were, point, there were points in your life where you would share things with your siblings, whether it's clothing or shoes. And now you all share championships, Yanni. You share championships. How remarkable is the story of your family? It's, it's an unbelievable story, and uh, it's, a, it's a lot of hard work that I've paid off. It's crazy that uh, three of us, um, you know, we're champions, but we've got to keep working hard, you know. Uh, but, man, if you were really kids, anybody told us that uh, 2021, 10 years later, we all, three of us going to be champs, I wouldn't believe it. Uh, but uh, I know my mom is extremely proud. I know my dad is extremely proud. So uh, I'm happy. Your brother is right over there. T.A., what up, T.A.? I know you can't speak for him, but what do you think he would want this crowd to know at this moment? Milwaukee, we did it, baby! We did it! We did it, man. Man, this is our city. This is our city, man. We did it, man. It's unbelievable. Giannis Adetokounmpo! Ladies and gentlemen, your world champion, Milwaukee!